All right, guys, going to make a tutorial for you today on putting in the dim data in the Train Simulator 2014 so that you actually get terrain mapped for you realistically. Uh, you still have to edit it a little bit, but this will put it in there, and also it will put in the Google Map. So what you need to do to start, I suggest you come over and you type in Google APIS, A-P-I-S, right there. And that's going to bring up a console, and you're going to go down the list where you see Static Map. APIS and you're going to enable that. Um, I went to the classic view of uh, this APIS menu uh, but you can do whatever so you can keep it on the newer version but I went to the classic because that was how I was able to find things the way I needed to. Uh, so you, the first screen you'll get if you've never logged in before will be start new project. So you're going to start a new API project um, in the middle of the screen and then go to your API access and you will see that list to get the static map API. You're going to come over to API access and under simple API access you're going to generate a new key and you can do that under the create new server key. Don't put any IPs in there otherwise unless you know yours otherwise it just makes it difficult to um, you know to access and do things like you need to. So just click create new server key and then hit the create button without putting anything in here. It'll create it for you and display it just like this. This is the number that you will copy and paste, this long number here, you will copy and paste into the simulator. Now for the DEM data, D-E-M data, that you need in order to have the uh, simulator put the terrain in there for you, you will go to this website here, which I will put into the video description, and you will click on your region, wherever it is. Uh, Kansas City happens to be the J-14 and J-15 region, uh, Kansas City, St. Louis, covers a pretty broad area, but I went ahead and got basically everything uh, J and K 14, 15, and 16s um, and put those into the game so I can continue to go east of St. Louis or you know go all around. I'm actually going to you know be modeling the Kansas City Southern route initially, but I'd like to get the BNSF, the NS route, uh, and maybe some of the UP route in there as well, because they all run through this area, and I like them all, so that's what I would do. So you would click on one of these boxes, it will automatically start downloading for you. Shouldn't take too long at all. When you're done, you will export them. And uh, J14, for instance, here, you will open it with 7-zip or uh, Win, I think it's WinZip, one of the zip programs. You'll open the archive, and all these HGT files are what you need to place inside your, your simulator files. So you will highlight all these uh, by leaving that top one highlighted, press shift, left click, it will highlight them all, you hit extract, and you're going to put them into your, uh, your folder. Uh, so for instance on mine here, uh, my computer, I go to my Steam folder, which is, I call it Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Railworks. And we're going to my DEM folder, DEM. And highlight the SRTM folder. And then click OK. It'll put all those HGT files in the SRTM folder. And that will be how uh, the simulator accesses them. So that's it. You've done the external part. Everything else is done inside now. So when we come to the simulator, we're going to go to Settings, Graphics, Google Map Overlay, and this is where you're going to put in that Google Maps API key. So just copy and paste it in there. You have different resolutions you can choose, and that's, you know, I put mine at 1280, um, and I put it on satellite map. You can change it to uh, hybrid maps, street maps, you know, a whole bit. And, and literally what you see when you click on those on a Google Earth map, that's what you're going to see in the game. So I put it on satellite because I actually want to see where the railroads go. I don't need road names. I'm familiar with the area. So uh, zoom level, uh, you probably want it starts at default s at 15. You can go, um, I went to 19 in the Kansas City area, and that seems to be just fine. They have, they have all the textures there. If you zoom all the way to 21, um, there's a lot of places that it doesn't actually zoom that close in. So, you know, try, just play around with it. I found out that 19 was the closest I could get anywhere on the map. So... I left it at 19. And then tiles displayed, it starts you at 3x3. Three three. I put all the way up to 7x7. Seven seven. That way I can see um, a larger portion of where I'm trying to lay track. It makes it makes it quicker. So we save the settings. And then we go to the main menu. 
We'll go to build. And this is where you start your new route. Now, I've already started one. This is very simple. You just click on uh, new route. You name it. Then you choose default. Don't choose any of these other routes. They're going to pop up in the list. Choose default. Um, so it pulls all these up. You want default. And it's going to give you all zeros here. And it's very easy to just go in and punch in the latitude longitude by going to Google Earth. And in Google Earth, you're going to go to your tools, options, and make sure decimal degrees is showing on your lat launch bar right here. Uh, apply, and then click OK. And then you will zoom in to whatever area you're wanting to go. And if you notice, I set my starting point, and you'll see this in a second. I set my starting point right here. And you can read the lat launch on the bottom bar. This 139 area right here, that's where it's going to put it for you. So you'll put those numbers in here, and then you'll hit create. I'm going to hit cancel, uh, but then you move on from there. When you go back to edit again in the future, oh, this one's, it's being a punk again. Uh, we're going to go into scenario editor, open scenario. Must have hit lock or something on it. I don't know why it's being like that. Uh, put KCS yes. two create. And believe me, this works a lot better whenever I'm not doing a video for some reason. It's a pain, but um, you can see the data is already in here. Uh, that's because I've been working with this route already. But to get it in, you know, for the first time, you're gonna come over here. You're going to pin this so it stays open. You're going to click paintbrush. Yes, we'll save the scenario. And we're going to unlock this. Okay. So paintbrush, and then you're going to come right here to import. And then you're going to use the SRTM, and it's just going to scan that folder for anything that you're next to. You hit import terrain dim, and boom, you're set. Now, I would suggest you use 19 by 19 so you get the highest resolution you can on the elevation. That's kind of how I did it. So there you go. And then the uh, other thing you can do is press Control G. As long as you set things up properly with your Google um, account, then you will see your Google Map starts populating right where it's supposed to be. And if you can see how well this is meshing right here, with the uh, dim data that's the rail line right there that I'll be modeling and it's right up against this bluff and it puts the Google um, image right onto the texture so on the train texture so this is just perfect you can uh, you can go all day long getting everything done you need to and you can see the resolution that I've got here I can tell okay I got one two three four tracks running this spot so you can easily lay those tracks and then as you go Google Earth will update and you'll be able to see industries the size that they are the footprints that they're taking up um, you know and you'll be able to go through here like right through here we would lay the track and then snap the train to the track and that way it's all level per se but you would lay the track first and make sure that basically on the ends uh, where you're starting and where you're ending are level with uh, the ground and then the rest of it will snap in between. And you'll see that in other tutorials that you watch on this kind of stuff. So, And then, like I said, uh, on the previous version when I was trying to do this, is as as you go, um, you know, it just keeps loading. Um, but it's neat because everything matches up. The highways where the trains actually operate, uh, and then you get over and, you know, you get in the spots where you have a river, like right here. This is the edge of the Missouri River and the train actually matches the edge of the river and so you're able to put your water effect in there and as you're driving by on these bluffs and stuff you'll see everything like uh like it really is anyways that's just the uh quick tutorial on how to do this stuff i'll put more detail in it if you guys need it just let me know uh in the comments below anyways uh hope you guys enjoy take care